Hi, today I'm going to talk about RGB profiles. In a previous video, I talked about the difference between RGB and CMYK, and I kind of summarized it that RGB are for displays and CMYK are for printing. To be honest, um, nowadays, like we have a lot of social media and advertisement and everything is digital. I, from the bottom of my heart, I kind of apologize because I prefer to produce everything in RGB and then pass it to a CMYK when necessary for printing. This is because you can advertise better on the web if you produce the original art in RGB. That being said, that doesn't mean you cannot work in CMYK, but if you do, then be sure you are going to use that only for print. Okay. When working in RGB in Procreate, you have these options. There are many more options. And if you work with Adobe, Adobe um, Suite, then you will have the Adobe sRGB. And I will talk a little bit, just a little bit about it soon. In short, from this list in Procreate, the one I use is this one, the second one, that is the generic one. And it was created by Microsoft in the late 90s. And the thing is, it's generic. And I will explain you this. This is your source. And your target, you don't know it. Or maybe you, you do. If uh, you're working with someone that works only for Apple, then it's okay, you go for Display P3 because Display P3 was made by Apple. And I will show you here. Display P3 was, oh, I'm sorry. I will show you here. Uh, this, this was made by Apple and it works better in Retina displays, in the Retina display and also ultra high definition. This one, as I said before, is uh, something that is generic and it was made in the late 90s by HP and Microsoft. And then we have this other profile that is not only a pro that is not only a gamut of colors, but this profile contains information for the target device. Some printers do have these, pro these profiles installed and they are there to recognize them and translate that to CMYK. And the ICC is the short for International Color Consortium. I will leave the link below. By the way, I want to thank Therese who wrote a question in the previous video asking which RGB profile should we use for a strictly digital art? Well, there is, here is the answer in a simple way. If you are showing your work only to people who own Apple devices, or you are very sure that um, your work is gonna be seen only in high resolution devices, then you choose Display P3. If you're not sure, then go for the generic and that's it. Though, if you want to print later and you know that it happens and then you know that the client is working uh, with a certain machinery and wants to print and also advertise online, then you produce in, SR in sRGB in any of the profiles from, uh, made by the ICC. These profiles are actually made to work together. In the link in the description, you can read everything about this profile. It's very dense information. And just this is just like a summary about that information. Okay, so to have an idea of the gamut we're talking about, let's say, let's say these are all the colors that exist, or not that exist, but the, all the colors we can see as humans. And then we have this triangle here that is the the colors oh, let's uh, create another layer here so in here 
we have all the colors we can see with the P3 display. And then inside that, in a smaller triangle, you can see the sRGB gamut. So as you can see, P3 display can show you even brighter colors. And if we try to add in this, the Adobe one, it will go like in the middle of both. It will be something like this, I, as I remember. But we don't have that in the iPad. Well, at least not in the, um, we don't have that in Procreate. Maybe in the Adobe apps. So P3 Display was created to supply the, the demand of the Retina Display and ultra high definition and ultra high definition. However, sRGB can be recognized by any device because it's generic. Now, the ICC profiles, something important is that ICC profiles is a combination of both that color new space I showed before and a color correction. And that color correction is created to be unique for each device. You have to check which device uh, you're using and the profile that device is using as well. This is a short paragraph you can find in the ICC website about the appearance profile. And I read it to you. Appearance profile may be used as a retargeting in perceptual render intent, produces more color consistent results in color reproduction on display, produces more pleasant results in appearance and tone scaling for most images than color metric rendering. The appearance profile is particularly recommended when the difference between source gamut and destination gamut, your target, is large and it is desired to repurpose the image, for example, making it optimal for the reproduction media. So what they say here, in, in short, is that appearance profile then may be better if you don't know, not if you don't know, but it's like the, the gamut or the color uh, space uh, of your source and the color space you want to uh, produce the material to is, is different, it's too different. So that means that you can start with this, with the appearance profile in the, in the iPad with Procreate and perfectly display in a ultra high definition monitor or TV. And it supposedly should give you um, a decent or a mostly good uh, resolution. That's what they say here. But it, I have found that some monitors, they do not recognize well the ICC profiles and they do prefer the generic profile. So that's why I use the generic profile for my drawings. If you're working for someone, then ask about that profile. And also when you want to pass this to, the, to printing, it could be really useful to know that combination of the printer and the paper, because sometimes the paper also can make a difference. I hope this helps and that this opens the discussion. I would like to know, let me know in the comments, what profile were you using and what, what problems have you, have you had during uh, making like things for clients or if you're working only for yourself if you have noticed a difference when i started using procreate a long time ago uh, it was the first time i actually got the profiles p3 because for me it was always that generic profile and also the adobe profile because i i, I also like photography and is what my my camera has my camera has the option for srgb and the adobe srgb and that's, that's all I knew until I got the, the iPad, I got Procreate and started working with Procreate. And I start directly with P3 because when you start and when you click here and you start a new canvas, then it tells you that the screen size and it tells you P3 and I was like, what was that? And I started investigating here and then I noticed that display P3 and I started creating everything in display P3 at the beginning. 
But then I noticed that when I passed it to my to my older phone that was an, an Android, it didn't look the same. And then when I, I, I have a Mac, but I also have an LG monitor that I have to calibrate to be able to see the same as I, as I see in the Retina display. My monitor do have, uh, I, I, I do have the, um, the P3 because I downloaded it from the website. So I recommend you to check your monitors, check your devices. If you have a, um, not Apple devices, check if you have the profiles and you can download them from the, from the um, brands, okay? Just Google it and you will find it right away. This is all for today. I hope you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave comments below and like this so I create more content for you, for me and for the rest of our life. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.